now we're on this tent's just like my other eight person dark one this is the sky dome by coleman it's just the four person non-dark tent there's the bag I already had it open because i used it once before i made a video Just like that one. I gotta remember which is the back side. The poles are pre-attached. Hope it doesn't storm again. See, tonight I'm not gonna stay because it's gonna be way too much for the humidity. That's not in the frame. So I just wanted to showcase, but it's windy, so I have to um, I have to stick down the tent anyways because it's windy, even though I'm not staying. But man, I just realized that I gotta move that. I just put it in front of the beast poop. That would not have worked. The poles on the back are the pre-attached. Not like the instant, but... I just have this Velcro so you can fold them together. Well, the only bad thing about that whole thing here right now is the fact that the ground's wet. I used to have a tarp to put the tent on, but I was hoping to actually stay tonight. So we got the third and fourth tomorrow. And the fact that I've been just way too busy. I've been trying to get out here since my last one, but I usually like going during the week so it's not as busy to get a spot and to be able to record. A ball leg thing orange goes in there like the other one and the rest has clips. I like to put the poles together so you can clip it easier. This one's easier than the other one anyways because it's only a four person so it's not as tall. Just grab one of the bottom ones, or that's a side one. Actually, the past week, I didn't have time to look, but I kept trying to think of where the rainfly went, and I forgot that I put it inside the tent, because the last time I took this one out, it was kind of rainy, so I usually put it inside the tent. And also so I don't lose him. So I don't lose the rain fly. Unless I ever have a chance to put it back. It's already pretty warm from the humidity. See, I left it inside. That's funny. I'm gonna find where the where the slot for the awning pole is. That's where the front of the rain fly is. That failed, but still it's kind of cool. Let's see, it's gonna go in those clips on the bottom. Wow, I definitely need to fix that for these tie downs, guidelines, I mean. Because those are all over the place. See, now you don't have, oops, I forgot one. I guess maybe that is as tall as my instant four person. I thought it wasn't as high, but I guess it is. Same as the other one is, but still, it's cool to see.
But that's also why it's cool on ones like this. You can see which one, you can be able to tell which is the front for the rain fly. Sometimes it's confusing even though it's marked. Even though they marked their name on there, sometimes it's still you get the front and back mixed up and the sides. You got your main pockets like always with the warnings. One, two, three, four. This has four separate little smaller ones though. And I think that's all it had, yeah. But then it had this pocket for the door. And then a side pocket for whatever, just like the other one. But then it has a pocket for the wide, for wide door. And obviously the regular four hoops and then the clip up there so you can put all your other ceiling things that it comes with. Sit down, if I sit, uh, sit down like this, I got all that room. Well, that's with no mattress and everything, but it's not bad. It's pretty much like my four person instant tent. Oh, I should have put the guidelines all together so they wouldn't get tangled like they did last time. There's the center. Center it. That didn't work too well. It's true that I left it inside. This one's folded differently since the pulls are pre-attached. You have to kind of go at a different angle than you normally would. Since it's Velcroed, I would just go like that and turn it at an angle. So then you fold it this way together. I honestly don't remember what it was like when I opened it. It was brand new. Whoa. I don't remember exactly how they were folded in like that. So, just do the best you could. Yeah. 
And if you don't, then obviously you can't. can't put it back in the bag then if you don't. Why is that sideways? Well, that's not going to fold up correctly. Actually, that still might work. No, it wouldn't because it'd have to be sideways. That's right. We might do it that way. There you go. Just go to the side. And then... It's actually folded nicer than it was before I had it <laughs> folded up. So then I got these tearaway bags at the bottom. They have made they made those now so you can fit it better in there. So once you get the bag. Started. See, that's why I don't like some of them. No, some of them don't have zippers on that side, and it's only on the top, so it makes it a little bit harder. I guess it depends on how you put the ring fly in here. That's kind of a make it or break it type of situation, especially when you're by yourself. To be able to zip this shut. Although it is possible, it just takes a lot longer. But you can, if you want to. If you're not patient, or you just don't care, or you don't want to, then obviously it won't happen, but if you want to, and you care about it, I mean, I'll probably open it back up when I'm done, just so the bottom doesn't get, the moisture doesn't get in there, and trap it in there, and then cause the mildew and mold, and then ruin the tent, but once it's dry, store it in here just fine. You can see how the bottom kind of opened up a little bit. It's cool how they made them like that because it's like nearly impossible to do it without that. Dang, if I can pinch that together. See, that's why it's a lot harder to do it by yourself. But it's not technically complete until it's all the way zipped. Boom. And my microphone just fell. Nobody saw that. And that is that. Thanks for watching.